hello welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay so today i'm bringing to you the most delicious jollof rice recipe ever in this video i'm not going to be using meat but i'm going to be using some chicken stock or broth without wasting time let's just get started so first of all i've got some ingredients here i've got some garlic some onions ginger and some sweet pepper what i'll do is that i'll blend everything together i'll put a pan on fire and come in with some oil next i'll come in with the blended ingredients i'll fry this for about five minutes on medium fire Next, I will come in with about two ladles of concentrated tomatoes. About four ladles of fresh ground tomatoes. I'll come in with my chicken stock. I add some curry, salt to taste. I'll cover this up and cook it on low to medium heat for about 15 minutes. So I've got my rice here. I love to use basmati rice for jollof because it tastes best. But feel free to use any rice available to you. So it's been after about 15 minutes and as you can see the stew has thickened up. Now I'll come in with my washed rice. I must say that's a personal choice. I prefer to wash my rice but if you don't wash it it's just up to you. I'll come in with some dark soy sauce. This adds some extra flavour. a little bit of seasoning and some more salt now I'll come in with some water the water needs to cover you know the rice just enough it shouldn't be too much now just cover this up and allow it to cook now we're doing this on low flame after about 10 minutes, I'll check on this again, mix it up a little bit more. I'll come in with about half a cup of water. After this time has passed, I'll check on this again. And as you can see, we've got some excess oil. So I'll just come in with a little and get rid of the excess oil. Then cover it up, let it cook on low flame for about 10 more minutes. This time I will come in with an aluminium foil. Just cover it up without adding any water. I will just let the steam cook it up. And don't forget we're doing this on the lowest of flames. You risk burning the rice. If you put the flame on high so it's been after about 10 minutes more and as you can see it is ready it's well cooked and it's time for it to be served and yes here we are our jollof rice is ready feel free to add anything you want it could be some coleslaw it could be some fried plantains it could be chicken whatever you have goes well with the jollof rice and i must say you are invited i hope you're going to give this a try if you do let me know how it comes up for you if you've not subscribed please do not forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up until next time i'm going to see you again with another nice and interesting one bye